Welcome to the coding interview question number of one bit and this is bit manipulation question. Write a function that takes an unsigned integer and return the number of one bit it has. Don't worry about unsigned integer. We have in details explanation in this video. First signed integer. First let's talk about first signed integer. Let's suppose that we have 8 bits for an integer. So it's easy to explain. If we choose 30 bit instead, then it will be pretty hard for me to explain. Okay. Suppose you're given this binary number and this number is equivalent to 127. And here we have sign bit, right? This 0 is sign bit. And this is the maximum positive integer we can store in 8 bits. Okay, now let's calculate 2's complement of this integer 128. And this is the 2's complement of 128. And minimum negative integer we can store in 8 bits this integer. And this is equivalent to minus 128. And this binary number will represent in computer memory like this and here one means this is a negative integer all right now let's talk about unsigned integer okay minimum integer in 8 bits we can store minimum integer we can store in 8 bits this one okay and in this case this leftmost bit is not a sign bit and this binary number equivalent to 0. The maximum integer we can store in 8 bits this integer okay and in this case this is not our sign bit and this number equivalent to 255. Five. All right this is the concept of signed and unsigned integer. Now if you are given this particular binary number here triple dot means we have we have bits on the left side and the value of the left bits are 0 okay and this number is equivalent to 11 all right in this case we have to return 3 because we have here three ones 1 2 3 and all the left bits are zeros so for this particular input we have to return 3 if you are given this particular binary number as input, then we have to return 1. Because 1 appears in this binary number once. Okay? And this binary number equivalent to 8. Now let's see how we can solve this problem using the technique called bit manipulation. Let's suppose that you are given this particular binary number as input. Here we have 32 bits in this given binary number, okay? On the left side, we have bit, the value for all the bits on the left side are zeros. First, mask equals to 1. And this is our mask, right? And we're going to declare a variable count equals to 0. And this is our input and this is our mask. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to do bitwise and operation. If we do bitwise and operation in between input and mask, then the result will be 1. Here we see 1 and 1. So, 1 and 1 is 1, 1 and 0 is 1, and we have zeros for all the bits on the left side of this digit 1. So, it will evaluate it just 1. Okay, and that is not equals to 0. If we see the bitwise and operation result was not 0 in between input and mask, then we're going to increase count by 1 and then we're going to shift this bit 1 to the left. Okay, then we're going to do again bitwise and operation. In this case, we have here 1 and here 1. So the result is not equals to 0. So let's increase count by 1 and let's shift this 
bit one to the left. In this case, it will evaluate it zero, right? We have the result equals to zero. So we'll not increase count by one in this case. Now let's shift this one to the left. Now let's do bitwise and operation. In this case, the result will not be zero. So in this case, let increase count by one and let's shift this one bit to the left. At this point, we see that we have all bit zero for on the left relatively to this bit one. Okay, so we're left with count equals to three. In this case, we'll return just three. All right, now let me show you how my solution might look like in pseudo code. First, I'm going to declare a function count underscore one underscore bits that takes a number as input. Let's suppose that you're given this binary number. Then we're going to declare count equals to zero, then mask equals to one. It's not zero, so it should be one instead. Then we're going to run a loop for i from zero to 31. So this loop will run from zero to 31 because we have 32 bit all edges for our given integer. All right, then we're going to do and operations in between the given input and mask. If that not equals to zero, then we're going to increase count by one. Okay, so mask will be for first time here one, then all the left bit will be zero. So it will evaluate it one and that's not equals to zero. So let's increase count by one. So count will be in this case one. Then we're going to shift this one to this place. Okay, in this case, we see that we have one at this bit and all the bit on the left side and right side of this bit one are zeros. So here we have one and one. We see that it will evaluate it something that's not equals to zero. So let's increase this count by one. So it will be two in this case. Then let's shift this one here. And we see here we have zero and here we have one. So it will evaluate it zero. In this case, this condition is not two. So it will not increase the count by one then left shift it will shift this one right over here in this case we see that we have one and one so it will evaluate it something that not equals to zero so we'll increase count by one so count will be in this case three then if we left shift one then we see all edges we have zero in this case this condition will not match and it will stop whenever we reached to the leftmost bit for this binary number, right? We have here 32 bits. We use here triple dots to represent we have some bit on the left. And the value of that bit are zero. Okay, so we'll have at the end count equals to three. And that's what we're going to return here. And this is my answer to this problem. This solution will take constant time complexity because all edges this for loop execute 32 times and 32 is a constant. It also takes constant space complexity. Here we're just using two variable count and mask. All right, guys, hope this concept was clear. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, let us know. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.